Hi everyone. Good evening, guys, my dear friend. So, guys, uh, today is the first session for this batch. Normally, what happen every uh, you know weekend, Saturday, Sunday, uh, we are conducting one project session, right? <clears throat> that will go continuously ten weeks, ten to twelve weeks. Okay, means we will cover minimum ten to you know twelve project for each batch. So let's say you know I'm starting today. Uh, 16th December. This will ba this batch will go till mid of uh, uh, Fab. Okay, and in between we cover 10 to 12 domain. All right. So, who all attended my earlier session? I will ensure that that project I will not cover. I will take a different data set this time. This time, my friend, I will go little advance. Okay. So it's a mix of uh, deep learning as well as ML part. So let's say I will pick a sentiment analysis. So I will use NLP techniques. I will use machine learning algorithm, right? And also I will include GAN algorithm, generative adversarial networks. Similarly, if I use, you know, a stock price prediction. So a stock price pre prediction, you have learned in time series forecasting in Arima model or some other Facebook profit model and all. I will, you know, use some different model which industry are using it. Okay, so uh, some of the deep learning techniques apart from that, some other analysis part also you will see that. Yeah, like I will use some uh, generative AI model. So maybe lots of things is new for you. Okay, uh, but don't worry. Don't, uh, you know, worry about that. You have not heard these things. I will ensure that you know you will able to understand all this thing. Maybe I will not go much deeper of the theory or mathematics part because uh, the, because it's a project patch and we have to complete uh, in two days. But you will get clarity, okay? When you do the real time job and all, you will get clarity that how you will perform it, what you have to do. So I can assure guys, you will learn many new things, okay? The coming session onwards. Today is the first day, so that's why, you know, uh, Learnway had assigned very simple project called Bank Project, uh, Banking Data Set. So it's a very simple data set. I hope you guys have already done it, but still I'm going with the different approaches. You can see how you can do, uh, you know, in deep dive analysis part and all. Yeah, so okay, so... Hello. Harish, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I want to say something. Uh, yes. I already attended one of your banking and finance domain. Mm -hmm. Which project you have attended? Banking and finance domain. Huh, yeah. what, what project name? Banking finance is domain. What case study? Uh, well, you had done uh, thinking on uh, machine learning on the end. Machine learning? Which, no, which no, problem? No, today's class is the same one or it's a different one? I don't know which project I have covered in banking and finance. Uh, I think if you have attended last session, then I have covered some there is a, a stock prediction. If I'm not wrong, time series forecasting, I did it. Okay. Yeah, so this time today, I will pick classification algorithm just for today. Next week onwards, you will see I will use ML as well as deep learning and generative AI. Like that, it happened. Okay. Yeah, so in beginning itself, I'm telling you from everyone so that you can understand how the project will go. Okay. okay. All right. Anybody, guys, else, anybody have any questions, anything, any clarity you need? Sir, I have a question. Uh, will you use uh, deep learning and NLP techniques in today's session? Today's session, no, but coming session onwards. Everywhere, I will ensure that I will use uh, deep learning as well. So it's this project batch is not only for ML. This project batch is for deep learning as well. Because okay. most of the friend already completed ML. Also, they have, you know, one or two, another batch, they already attended deep learning batch also. Not me, other faculty, but they already completed. So I got okay. clear cut instructions. I will go much deeper, no deep dive project. Okay, sir. Okay. okay, if you are new, you are attending first time, no need to worry at all. That is only thing I wanted to say. Okay, sir. Thanks. 
Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. For this, you are providing project. We can uh, use it for the interview purpose also, right? I can oh, refer. Correct. And... Yes, 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 yes. Okay, Any project, us... whatever project I am picking here, that is capstone project only. So, of okay. course, you can do it. Okay, sir. This will so give you a clarity that how... You, uh, it will be uh, like kind of one year we can consider this uh, once we uh, learn this uh, the domain perspective or kind they expect. One year in the sense, what you mean? Experience, like I domain completed your project. like. Uh, oh, correct. No, so already you have covered, right? It's 16 month batch itself there, right? If you have attended Lawn Bay advanced uh, batch, that is 16 months. So 16 months is already considered yes. along with you can consider six months project also. So you can consider one and a half years, two years. Yeah, that's what I can in the resume I need to mention, right? Yes, uh, yes, yes. Very week. much, very much. Okay. 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 And when can I expect that uh, healthcare domain, sir? You have any? Will come very soon. Healthcare, lots of you know advanced things I'm going to cover. Just one okay, minute. Thank you. Okay, sorry guys. I yes, you are saying something. Anybody? Sachin has mentioned, sir. I'm looking banking domain. So we attend all domain projects or not mandatory? Yes, Sachin, it's mandatory. You are a data scientist. You really don't know what project will come when. So you have to know all. Okay, don't go by only banking. All right. Avinav, no, sir. I'm not new. I'm your ML batch, just asking, how are you? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Abhinav. I'm good. Perfect, guys. So someone is saying healthcare, guys. So healthcare, I will go much deeper, okay? You may be, you know, earlier you have not seen such project, which I will cover in the coming session. Okay, I can assure definitely you will see complete new things. I will use generative AI. I will use large language model. I will use GAN. And along with NLP and then, of course, machine learning techniques as well. Okay. So maybe next week or next to next week, I will 100% I will cover the clinical sector data set with very, very broader perspective. Okay. Let me share my screen. If nobody have questions, then. I hope everybody is able to see my screen, guys. Yeah. Okay. All right. So my dear friend, you know, Whenever you start any project, right? This is the simple standard ML model there. ML cycle there, machine learning cycle there. You will get a data. Okay, you will get a data. This is called data. What you have to do first thing first, you have to ingest the data. Next part, my dear friend, you have to first do testing. Okay, before you go in the production, first you have to do testing. Then you have to do an analysis. Okay, 
descriptive analysis and diagnostic analysis. Then my friend, you have to do data wrangling, wrangling or cleaning, cleaning, munging, okay? Munging or pre-processing, pre-processing. Okay, these are different, different name. You can say data wrangling, data cleaning, data munging, data pre-processing. This is what you have to do. Thereafter, you have to do feature extraction or feature engineering. Feature engineering. Okay, here you, you can use multiple tasks. Uh, you can do inferential statistics. You can do feature importance. You can do hypothesis testing, right? There are so many things you have to do. And there are some other techniques also there. Right. Once you complete the feature engineering part, then you have to do the model building. So you can say model training. Model training. Okay. Once you complete the model training, you have to do model tuning. Model tuning. Okay. Just tell me one thing before I start, guys. Can I expect everybody that you all know Python? This is prerequisite, guys. Can I consider everybody know Python? Yes, sir. All 100% yes, percent, my dear friend? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes sir. Can I consider everybody know ML part? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anyone yes, sir. there who is new in machine learning? They just yes, started. Yes, yes, means can I say completed? Yes. Any new guys? You chat window? Everybody is saying yes. No Python and ML. Okay, Gunjan is saying Python and ML. Very good. Anybody is there? They are new in deep learning, guys. I just wanted to know this batch. Deep learning part, especially the basic guys, basic of NLP. Because NLP yes, I will use no. extensively. Yeah. No, right? Okay. I am new in deep learning and NLP. Yes, sir. Deep learning and NLP. Okay. Very good. Very good. Super. So then we will fly on the sky, guys. If you know these part, okay. Foundation also, if you have a background, then we will go much deeper in the coming session onwards. Okay. Now, model tuning. So what you do, you can use the model tuning. You can use some, uh, you know, hyperparameter tuning model, how you will improve your model training and all. Thereafter, we are doing model, model evaluation. Okay. And once you are satisfied, then finally we are doing model testing. They will give you a data set. You are ready to give the prediction and all. And this is the final output. Output. Okay. Generic. This is a high level. You know, life cycle there, my friend. Anybody say, what is the high level life cycle for machine learning? You can say, you get a data set. You can first do the ingest, right? Connect with your data set, your Python or whatever tool you are doing it. Do some basic testing, right? Right. And then after that, you have to do analysis. Then you can do cleaning, wrangling, manipulation part. Then you have to do feature engineering, PCA, principal component analysis, linear discriminate analysis, TSNA method, LDA methods, right? Then you have to do model building. Then there is an improvement there. Use tuning method and then can evaluate the model. You can go for testing, ready for, you know, deploying the cloud and all. And then finally you get the output. That is the generic things there, my friend, that we have to follow it. Okay. Everyone, you are with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, when you become a data scientist, guys, when you become a data scientist, what happened? There are multiple roles there. In organization, you will get data scientist, data scientist role. You will get data analytics role. Analytics role. You will get software engineer, software engineer. Okay, you will get cloud engineer, cloud engineer. You will get DevOps engineer, data engineer. DevOps engineers, right? Data engineers. 
okay you will get ml engineers ml engineers you will get uh, you know platform engineers data platform engineers you will get ml ops engineers nlp engineer nlp engineers right you will get ai developer you will get simple developer yeah code developer bi developer business intelligence so these are different different roles there okay now now whatever we are learning our main focus is this first one data scientist if you know data scientist you get opportunity to join in data analytics business intelligence ai developer nlp engineers ml ops developer machine learning engineer right apart from that these you know software engineer cloud engineers devops engineer you will connect on a regular basis so you also have to know their work culture what they are doing it when you will go to them right what all things we have to do it so you have to know that part are you with me these are the rules there my friend everyone yes sir. yeah yes now, sir. next part is next part is you know when you get a job let me let me jump into the data set itself so the banking domain data set i hope everybody have done the classification algorithm so this is typical classification problem see i started i i thought i'll pick some very interesting project today i i wanted a stock prediction with sentiment analysis and generative adversarial network okay but later i thought first i'll check your background what all things you know and all but i am more comfortable now because you all know python and ml okay so next week onwards i will start from this project this is the next project guys today's is very simple project i have taken so this is the problem statement i hope you guys have attended my session i have covered somewhere if not then just see how we are doing it okay so any project will come you can you know perform like that only so this is the project guys okay maybe data set is new but you have definitely worked loan prediction credit card fraudulent detection have you done it credit card approval prediction guys yes yes, yes we have done sir. yeah but you have done credit card fraudulent data set if i am not wrong yes sir. Yeah? yes this is different data this is called credit card approval prediction right so you can see this is typical project you know when you do the job in banking and if you consider yourself as a data analytics or data scientist or model developer uh these are the primary expectation is you have to know you have to you know you have gone through all this thing so here what is the abstract here the banks receive a lot of application for insurance of credit cards many of them are rejected for many reasons like high loan loan balances low income levels or too many inquiries on the individual credit reports right uh like civil score is very poor and all that also they are looking at manually analyzing these application is error prone and a time consuming process all right if let's say in one day we are getting 1000 application in one branch all right now it's very very difficult for one person they can sit and do all kyc check ybr form all their you know other tick marks job it's very difficult it's a very tedious task so how we can utilize the machine learning here the artificial intelligence here and we can leverage this so here this task can be automated with the power of machine learning in this project we will build an automatic credit card approval predictor using machine learning techniques just like real bank do are you clear what is the obstruct what is the task guys just basic problem statement we'll discuss later but basic task did you understand to avoid the manual work we are using machine learning and we can identify by their all parameter that one customer what are the parameters there whether we can give credit card to them or not are you with me yes sir everybody yeah 
just yes, think yes. about no banks receive lots yes. of applications guys right so how you know we can automate them how we can simplify them how we can you know uh, apply the algorithm so that my machine will take a decision right you know basic definition right artificial intelligence it's nothing it's a machine learning it's a machine it's a system the system who can take a decision no name is only ai but a means artificial it's not human so artificial means system or machine can take a decision whether they can provide you know loan to a credit card to the customer or not so they can behave they can act they can think like a human okay that is what is called artificial so that method we wanted to do it now what is the problem statement here you can see the task is to analyze and build a predictive model that can accurately determine whether a credit card application should be approved or rejected based on the various applicant attributes and historical credit data okay so we have lots of attributes there we have some historical data there real time data and my friend on that basis you have to decide your machine will decide whether you have to provide you know credit card to them or not or you can re reject their offer now the goal is to develop a model that can assist financial institution in making informed decision while minimizing the risk of default or maximize maximizing profitability okay what is the task here we have to minimizing the risk and maximizing the profit are you with me can i say linear programming they are talking about linear programming guys now they have given a problem to identify customer segments which are eligible for credit card approval so that they can specify target these customers okay now what are the variable description there you can see we have column and we have description id means unique id of the row so there are variable there where you will get unique id so each customer has a unique id let's say when you apply for loan when you apply for credit card system generate one unique id to you okay that is for that particular request just we have a unique aadhar card we have unique you know pan number you have unique employee id right you have unique uh, you know different different things there similarly you have unique id there means only once one there you cannot get second now code gender you have also given gender of the applicants whether it's a male or a female that is denoted by m or f thereafter guys we have given flag owner car is applicant with a car means the owner they have raised for credit card do they have car or not right so again y or n given yes or no flag own reality is applicant with reality yes no they are genuine or what now how many you know count of children they have next is given amount income total what is their income monthly income right what is they are earning it name income type what you know just tell me the type of income five type of total right this is what is given when we open the uh, data set you will see that what type of data it is so you have different different data set and there my friend you you can analyze it that how you can decide uh you know whether you have to give um, this part or not so here it's it's given um type of income yeah what are the name of the uh, total income is there so there there are some categories there let's say some of the customer their income is more than 30 lakh some of the customer their income is between 15 to 20 lakh some of the customer their income is less than 15 lakh so like that we have a categorized there next part is given name of education type so again five type of educations there so what type of educations they have done it right so uh, maybe uh, uh, you you can say this um uh, education type equal to they have done higher education they have done pg they have done graduation what type of education they have done it like income income is their working professional uh, you know whether they are uh, uh, you can say they are uh, just doing their own business or they are uh, a government employee or they are running their own startup so like that there are five different types there okay um family status the type of family status six type total they are asking so family status means whether they are married or they are single or they are you know dependent they are not married they are separated uh, they have done you know uh, civil marriage they have done uh, you know arranged marriage what what kind of things information is there right all this thing you will see so these are the information given now days worth so what is this the number of the days from the birth 
negative value is given means they considered let's say today's date and let's say your date of birth is 90 uh, 95 so you can say okay 1995 to 2003 what how many days there so they calculated 365 days or th some leap year 366 days they accumulated all value and then finally they can say how old you are in the negative value date right so reverse order it's negative means they are considering for the current date today's date all right that is what is given so when the data today means we are not calculating it's given the negative date you can just consider that it's an older data is given all right next part is given days employee the number of days from the employee right so how long they are working on that company this column has error value as well okay so some some mistakes also their error value means some uh, you know a missing data as well given so this is you know the description is given next is flag mobile is applicant with the mobile one is true or zero means false they don't have mobile number and like that is given do they have phone number then again is applicant with the phone one true this is given flag work phone so they have work phone or what no some some of the employee they have work phone as well so if they are working company has provided the phone right the desktop or the company has provided the mobile phone they are paying the bill and all right they have own phone now email so if they have an email id yes no occupation type okay so here it's given occupation type type as well so what is the occupations they have uh, occupation in the sense uh, whether they are uh, you know md of that company uh, whether they are you know the management uh, accountant or they are a staff what what this you know variable is so there are total 19 types in total is given uh, then uh, you know the member how many family member they have and maybe they are dependent on them so guys, have you seen this? Have you done this data set in credit card or some different data set? Different, different, different. Can data. I say it's a new data set, guys? Who already yes. completed credit card? Can I say again, interesting new data set? Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now here, file of credit card.csv. So you can see here a status, right? So we have a status given month balance, the number of month from record time. ID is unique number status. So X, no loan for the month. C means paid, right? Wherever this uh, symbol will come, you can understand what is the meaning. 0, 1, 2, 29 past due. They have not paid on time. So status means if 0 is coming, you can consider last 1 to 29 days. They missed because of some reason. 1 means 30 to 59 means last 2 months they didn't pay on EMI. Uh, 2 means 60 to 89. 3 means this, 4 means this, and 5 overdue or bad dates right off for more than 150 days. Maybe, uh, you know, these guys, 3, 4, 5, they intentionally, they have done transaction and all. After that, they don't want to turn up. They don't want to pay the amount. So they are considered as a blacklist. Okay. Their civil score is very, very poor. Next time when they apply for loan and all or credit card, anything, bank will not give the facility to them. Okay. So this is what the information is given. Now you can see day birth, so count backward from the current day, right? Minus one means yesterday. So if I say yesterday, what you say? Minus one, day day before yesterday, minus two. Last year, you can say minus 365. So this is what the value is given, okay? Days imply count back from the current day. Again, if positive, it means the person currently unemployed means zero means what? They are not employed, right? That is why it's coming because this is also negative value. Month balance, the month of the extract data from the starting point backward, zero is a current month, minus one is a previous month and so on, right? It's full description is given. You can see a status zero to nine, all information already given a scope. Now, what are the scopes there in this algorithm? My friend, to understand data by performing exploratory data analysis. Please remember when you get a job, okay? 70% time you will do you know, EDA part only, guys. When I say EDA, EDA is an umbrella. Okay, there you can do data wrangling, data munging, data cleaning, pre-processing, feature engineering, everything will consider in EDA only. You can do univariate analysis, bivariate analysis, multivariate analysis, everything will consider as an EDA only. Once your data, and why we are doing, you know, there is a philosophy there, garbage in, garbage out. If you don't clean your data, the possibility would be when you predict the model, you will get very poor result, very pathetic result. So that is why it's a paramount significant. You have to handle your data properly. You have to clean your data properly. Only then you have to go and do the model building, right? Model tuning, all these things, you have to do it. 
So here a scope is first, you have to do EDA. Second, training and building uh, classification algorithm. Yes. In EDA, while we are doing, we have team members, right? It will be split that uh, work uh, in the- oh, if, if, you, if you create a pipeline, you are doing, uh, you know, if you have a knowledge of MLOps, then of course you can do, you can go on GitHub, you can give a permission to your team also. So one activity is you can do, another activity is they do, and then after that you have to merge together. So whatever they are doing, you have a visibility. Whatever you are doing, they have a visibility, or you can add other member also. Okay, mm -hmm. so if we have a big project, you cannot take responsibility, everything in your shoulder only. But that is happening when you do, you know, the project where you have a team involved. But most of the time so you will do means, silo job. It means that I will uh, split into data set, right? So same performance, uh, we can do it in a port. Ah, data, same data you will share with them also, but you have to assign some tasks to them. You can say, I am doing pre-processing part. So you will, you are responsible to handling missing value, doing outlet treatment, doing Finding encoding this. part mm -hmm. and all. You can give mm -hmm. other responsibility to them that you have to do univariate analysis, bivariate analysis, multivariate analysis, and tell me what happened. Third person, you can see these are the parameters there. I need it, but it's not given. Can you do a data manipulation part? Can you add such variable and all? And like that, at certain point, you have to combine all three analysis and make one data set. That is MLOps. Okay. Okay. okay? You will do it, but little later, not now. Mm, okay. Initially, you will not get such project where they directly involve you so that, you know, they can, they first you do it some certain project, they will see your confidence and all. After that, you can mm. do it from anywhere. But beginning, okay. you will do from scratch. A to Z, everything independently, so that no confusion happen. So a small project, some a startup company, some simple project will come, they will hand over to you. You have to do it. You have to deliver okay. it. Everything, okay. Yeah, but some big project will come where a scope is six month project, right? One year project, a mega mm. project. What you do? It's possible you can do it alone. Not possible. You will, if you start doing pre-processing alone, it will take two months. Yeah. <laughs> So you have to divide your work accordingly. And that is why in organization, you have seen that one activity, one person, they are doing only one activities. If you get a job mm -hmm. in data science, do you think you will do deep learning also? You will do machine learning also? You will do MLOps also? You can do predictive modeling also? No, we have a different, different team there. No departments there. Clear? So season, we need to update the skill. In the... Uh, here, because you have to crack interview also, sir. And that time you can showcase mm -hmm. everything because if you see the JD, it's mentioned everything or not. You have yes. to know Power VA also, you have to know Tableau also, you have to know SQL all also, right. you have to know all, you know, no SQL also, you have to know Python as well, you have to know ML, you have to know deep learning, you have to know NLP, and now they are adding, you have to know generative AI as well. Mm -hmm. And big data as well. Yes. Possible, everything you know. So, few things you have to know, but you will not, you, you don't have hands on. So they know that. Okay, but you don't go blank. You can say, no, first time yeah, I'm hearing. provide training, but we need to uh, understand. Training, not coding and all. And training, domain hmm. training they will give you. Training, they will give Three you how domains. you can how you can do, you know, MLOps kind of things. How you will hmm. work together with your team and all. That part, you will do it. You will learn. That's why, you know, they are hiring more. Mostly, you will see data scientists, they hire as an experienced one, not fresher one. Correct. Yeah, why? Because they, they wanted such candidate. They don't have time to train six months or one year. Mm -hmm. They wanted experienced right. person comes. Okay. Okay, but nice. for me, for you, what, what you have to do, how you motivate yourself, you don't have experience, even though you have experience, but do, different domain. So how you will acquire, you can acquire the knowledge in class. You can do it by your own and then go jump, see what happened. Take challenges, right? Change nice. and challenge only help you to grow in your career, right? Okay, yes. guys, my friend, are you with me, everybody, till here? So yes, then sir. you have to do EDA part, then you have to do a training and build the classification algorithm, right? So here also hint is, you have to build a classification algorithm. Now, what are the classification, guys? Can I say logistic regression, decision tree, random forest, bagging, EDA boost, gradient boosting, XG boost, light GVM boost, cat boosting, you know, cascading method, voting methods, K nearest neighbor method, support vector machine, right? NIP based theorem, deep neural network algorithm. Can I say these are the classification algorithm, guys? Perceptron model, 
multi-layer perceptron model? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah, so we have to use these things. Okay. Now understand feature importance. Very, very significant things. You have to see this is the life cycle I told you, no? So everything they wanted to know this. And that's why I said it's a simple but very interesting project. You will you will understand full, you know, full life cycle, how we can do it. So I will index the data data set already there. You understood the data set. We analyze it. Okay, deep dive I'll do. I will clean and then we'll do the feature engineering as well. Right. So feature importance also they are looking for it and improve the model. So when you build a model, you have to improve them. You can can I say they're saying you have to do tuning also model tuning to improve the model. Can I say hyperparameter tuning? We have to use it, guys. Yes, sir. Yeah. So you have to go and use this now. Understand various model performance matrix and measure the performance each model. So measure performance means can I say? It's a classification problem. You have to check accuracy. You have to check precision. You have to check recall. You have to check F1 score. You have to check my friend ROC, AOC curve. You have to check a confusion matrix. Yes or no? These are the performance matrix, my friend. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So all various performance matrix you can do. You can you can see the recall. You can see the precision. You can see the accuracy part, and then you have to decide whether my model is good or bad, or which algorithm you will go. Very nice, okay. clear cut, understanding guys, what we are going to do here. Yes, what is sir. objective and learning outcome? My friend, the objective here is, the objective is to train machine learning model using a provided data set to predict the approval outcome for new credit card application accurately. Okay, that is the objective. The model should generalize well to unseen data and provide reliable assessment of the credit worthiness of application, right? This is the objective. What is the learning? Students should be able to predict credit card approval from record with the help of classification model, right? They should also be able to perform EDA and rebuild the model and check if there is a significant change in the predictive score or not. That is the learning there. Are you clear? Today's task, what is the project guys? Anybody have any concern? Tell me, or shall I go ahead? Shall I go ahead or anybody have any concern, anything you wanted to ask me or can I go deep dive guys? Yes, sir. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. So see the data set, my friend, see the data set. This is called application record. Little bigger data, guys. We have approximate half million data there. Okay, so you can see these are the variables there. Whatever the description given in data set, it's given like that. So you can see we have we have my friend ID given, gender given, whether they have own car or not, what is their reality, how many children, what is their income, what is their income type. What is their education background? How many, you know, what is their family status? Uh, they have own house or not, or they are living in a rented house. Uh, that is also mandatory, right? Because they have to pay a rent also. So this part also mandatory. They are, you know, staying in the apartment or what. Then how many, you know, what is their date of birth? But it's given in days, right? You can't do anything. This is what they're, whatever the analysis, we will do it. Then days of employ, how long they are working it. And they have company has provided a mobile lot, company has provided their work phone or not, they have own phone or not, what is their email ID or not there, do they have email ID or not, yes or no, occupation type, what type of job they are doing, see there are some missing data also, it's mentioned no, in, in, in data set that there are some problems there, you can see here, it's given occupation, the type occupation, this, this column has missing value, yeah, so there are lots of missing value also given, so we have to handle the missing value as well. And all are care variable that also you can see how many member there in family member they are dependent on that 
so they have to see also that what is their expenditure on a monthly basis on that basis they can calculate it so this is what the data set and how many data guys we have approximate 4 lakh 38 thousand 4 558 can i say approximate five half million guys all my dear friend Yes, sir. Yes. yes, sir. Apart from that, apart from that, my friend, few data also given. You can see another data set. What is given? Credit record data set. How many variables there? ID given, month balance there, and status there. Okay. You can see the another table also given. Credit record. Now you have seen data, guys. Please tell me, have you solved this type of problem in credit card or this is new? Earlier, you have done credit card or loan prediction. Have new. you done this one or new one, guys? This is new. Can yes. I say it's completely new? No. Yeah, so some new, you know, whosoever attending first time also or the, you know, already attended credit card. Can I say that is also for new for them, guys? Now, here is status. Whenever come X, X has a meaning, my friend. Can I say X has a meaning? No loan for this month. C means paid of the month. Right, so wherever C is coming, are you with me? They already paid it. Wherever zero is coming, can I say zero means guys, they didn't pay for last one to 29 days. One means 30. Are you clear? This label means what? Everyone? Yes. Yeah, so this is the data set. Yes. Yeah, here we have ID, month, and this is what the status is given. Okay, month is number of months from the record time. So how many? Record time they have captured it. One, two, zero means no new. One month, two month, five month, 20 month, like that, it's there. Okay. So now please go, guys, and pre, uh, not just see that. Okay. I'm doing it. You don't do it right now. Otherwise, it takes lots of time. I'm doing it. I will share the code. I will share the data set. I will share the problem statement, everything in your drive. Okay. Whatever I'm doing in class for your practice purpose. The recording you will get every day, I think, four hours later. Okay, so no need to worry about this. So Jupyter Notebook. I'm using Jupyter right now. If deep learning I will use, then I will go into Google Collab. Okay, but right now I'm just using simple machine learning. So I'm using Jupyter Notebook. Fine, all my friend. Desktop. 16th December banking domain new data set Python banking domain hurry sir this is new data set or same which you have learned earlier This is not there. Okay. So guys, can I import the basic package, my dear friend? First thing first, can I import the basic package? Yes, yes sir. Yeah. Can I say upload required libraries? Yes. So what are the libraries, guys? Import. Basic libraries. Yes. Import operating system. System. Import. NumPy as NP, yes. import, Panda as yes. PD, right? Plan. NumPy is for mathematical calculation, Panda is for data manipulation and import and export. Then my friend, import matplotlib.py plot as PLT, percent matplotlib inline, import seaborn as SNS, SNS dot set, yes or no? Then my friend, PLT dot style dot use classic. Okay, import warning message. In case any warning comes, I'm not worry at all. I'm only worry about error part. Warning message you can ignore it. So you can say warnings dot filter warnings ignore ignore are you guys with me everybody please tell me yes 
Yeah, so this is the basic package my friend I have imported here apart from that if you wanted to do more visualization you can go and use plotly also you can say import plotly dot express as px import plotly dot graph objects as go then my friend import import plotly dot figure factory as ff all right then you can say import plotly dot offline as pyo anything you can put then my friend from plotly import tools okay i'm using plotly so that's why i'm using plotly package as well i hope you guys have learned plotly guys have you learned it no no from no. plotly python you have not learned i i didn't teach python so i'm just asking import make subplot it will give you 3d visualization guys you don't have some of the organization my friend uh Tableau, they will not provide you because Tableau is a licensed version. You have to pay it. Okay, every month seventy dollar you have to pay it. Okay, so seventy dollar each employee means eight eight uh eight forty dollar per year per user you have to pay it. Then only you will get professional version. So in organization, let's say five thousand employee there, they have to they need five thousand you know licenses maybe they are using server and all but i'm just asking a startup company and all let's say they have only 50 employees there so 50 license they need it so it's a cost involved so they will say why not you can leverage you can use python python is giving free so, uh, open source you can use plotly you will get same visualization like tableau and power bi only thing here you have to write code in tableau and power bi what happened you can just drag and drop yes or no guys Yes, yes. Sir. yeah you can just drag and drop you will get drag very nice visualization but here that in there you only know the logic drag drop that's it yeah wherever code also you can write it you can uh, go in the parameter and all just simple code it's already there but here my friend you have to write code you need not to remember everything okay the beauty is you need not to remember here only you have to keep upgrade yourself. You can, whenever you get time, you can go in the matplot uh, documentation. You can go in the C1 documentation. You can go in the plotly documentation. See the visualization. Click on the visualization and see the code. Copy that code right in your system and just try to understand and execute it. See whether you are getting visualization or not. Once you do like that, no, my friend, you will able to understand all this thing. Okay. So that's the suggestion. Please do this. All right. Everybody, you are with me till here. Now, just I'm importing these packages. Even if you don't use Plotly, you don't know, no need to worry, guys. Okay? Now, I'm just executing here. All right. Executing. Okay, done. Fine. Now I'm importing the data sets. You can say data equal to pd dot read underscore csv and import the data set, guys. What is the data set name? Application record dot csv file. Copy paste. Next, you can write here data dot head and execute this. My friend. Can I say we are getting here these variables? Everyone? Yes. These are the variables, guys. Now I'm interested to see, you know, just say print, print. You can say number of data points.
for application record okay equal to curly braces dot format and you can say the length of data print number of unique clients in data set in data set equal to curly braces dot format length of data set and their id and their unique value can i write like that my friend i am saying length what it length will do it will give you how many records there right data id means i'm targeting this variable their unique value okay what is the total length is coming you can see here when i'm doing it my friend number of data point in the application record 438557 and how many unique clients there 438510 are you guys with me can i say only few customer somewhere is 47 customer guys they are repeated multiple times remaining can i say they are unique customer only yes sir everybody yes sir can i, can yes. I say only few customer they repeated multiple times other than all are unique customer all right all right next data guys you can see here records equal to pd dot read underscore csv and please take the record data credit record data copy this paste here and please write here records dot head so my friend id month and balance status is coming yes or no now here again i am interested to see how many unique data there can i copy this can i paste here my friend and can i say number of data point credit records and can i put here record guys records yes or no similarly number of unique client in data point here can i say records dot what is the id only so id and unique value can i execute here my friend how many total credit record there can i say my dear friend 10 lakh 48575 that must record there come on tell me yes sir yes sir yeah yes sir and how many unique client there guys 45000 can i say mm -hmm. multiple records there means they have done multiple mm -hmm. transactions unique clients and record are not same guys yes sir can i say we yes, have a different sir. data set which means there are duplicate value yeah. in the data yes everybody please tell me there are duplicate data because not same 10 lakh is coming earlier it was coming 4 lakh 40 thousand approximate 4 lakh 38 thousand now we are getting 10 lakh can i say multiple data is there record is there tell me duplicate data yes yeah yes so sir. just check a duplicate data yeah so before removing the duplicate data always you have to check yeah how many duplicate data what you do you can say what is the length of the record records what their id id okay this will tell you how many total 10 lakh this now how many unique there guys can i write here set function guys set will give you unique number everyone yes, yes. yes i'm just using set function how many unique customer guys can i say bottom one four nine four five nine five eight four five nine five eight that is unique customer yes can i compare this data versus this data versus this id can i compare this how you will do it guys do you know set theory set theory guys how many people speak you know let's say english there are certain people they speak hindi and there are certain people they speak both can i say this is called intersection 
yes sir energy e intersection h can i say this means both who can I speak both languages so if i say whatever the id is coming record if the same id coming in data also if i make the intersection between record id and data id will i get the unique number unique customer who is there yes, in sir. both the data set yes come sir. on everybody yes, all sir. my friend yes sir so yes, can sir. i can i use this intersection here can i say here dot intersection data. intersection of what? data set of set no unique value data yes. and what is their variable name id I... are you with me can i say this will give the unique number how many yes. customer they are there in both record data as well as this data can i say my friend yes. the number of unique id in the two data point is not equal there are certain data set see tot total how many 45000 that is the only equal guys can i say there are certain numbers which is not equal yes yes yeah huh. so can i say there is an intersection is this 36457 huh. that is the you, you know similar similar it's client there in both, both the data set yeah, yeah? everybody huh. agree yes sir yeah yes. anybody have any confusion here now sir I, I have one confusion on the credit record data set like here we are like every uh, every id have like monthly status right uh -huh. and there is like x0 for each so uh, when x0 we are zero is nothing x x0 is x means what it is that huh. is the status x means no loan x for means no loan for month right yeah c means so, paid off they already paid Okay. Dependent value. Yeah, zero means they have not paid for last one month. One means they have not paid for last one to two months. See, this is the level given. It's given here. Ah, right, right. But sir, that is like for every month, na? For every month statements for each uh uh, uh applicant or what each applicant. Ah, uh, month that... means here you can see this customer. Ah, right. is having this like month, last one year have, I am yeah. getting this right last one year or something last like. one years like that exactly yeah ah, yeah yeah so last one month so if I'm intersection so what I'm getting from this uh, this record data set means I'm getting zero or x or zero uh... I will I will merge that one no because okay, this okay, will fine. tell us the fraudulent data so I will merge by month balance okay. how many balance they have they have not paid okay. Achha, achha. Can I say this is fraudulent data? If nobody, you know, paid, if I'm getting here zero, one, two, mm -hmm. three, four, five, can mm -hmm. I say they are fraudulent or not? Will mm -hmm. you prefer to give anywhere if that ID is coming five? Will you prefer to give credit card? No, no. Immediately right. you stop. No, you can say freeze mm -hmm. their right. application. Don't right. give. Right. So right. it's a very significant data. No, record is very, mm -hmm. very significant right, right. information. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I will use, I will merge both. Just right okay. now, I'm doing individually. Okay, okay. Fine. Because individual data is given. Yeah, so I'm yes, just yes. relating the connection between two data, how you okay. can understand. Okay, okay. Yeah. Huh. Now, my dear friend, if I remove the data set, I'm saying, can you please remove the data set? Okay. Before you remove it, can I check how many duplicate data there? Here, this is a similar data. No, my friend, intersection data. Can I check the duplicate data? Can I write here, my friend, print, print, you can see here, duplicates in application data equal to, you can see here, data dot I lock, I lock means slicing guys. Can I say all row, comma, one to all? zero why i'm not taking it because zero is the id so can i say one to all everything i'm taking see id i'm not taking it id is already i have taken that is the unique id right that is the common for mm -hmm. both now i'm saying is there mm -hmm. any things here in this data set do we have any duplicate data there means same ditto is coming again and again again and again again and again yeah how many data is there which is coming as it is. So you can say this dot duplicated 
dot sum my dear friend comma can I put here curly braces numpy dot round I don't want to see the decimal value you can see here 100 multiply data dot I lock all row column one to all dot duplicated dot sum okay and divide by divide by what is the total length of the data and then after decimal I wanted one value only okay close this part all right so this is what I'm getting here guys now press enter something has happened all right now curly braces so guys, how many percentage I'm getting here, which is duplicate data, similar point I'm getting here, 3,48,470 this, and 79.5%. Can I say 79.5%? Can I write here percent symbol? 80. Yeah, can I put here percent symbol, guys? Yes. Percent. Okay, so can I say 79.5%? Similarly, similarly, can I do for record also? Copy paste. Can I do for record as well? Here, instead of writing data, can I say record? Can I put here record? Yes, ma'am, comrade, sir. Yeah. Records. Records, sir. Records. All right. Or I lock is not required. Just take here and duplicate because we have only few data there. You can say records dot duplicate. Or let me write freshly, otherwise it will create problem. Print F duplicates in record data equal to records dot duplicated dot sum comma You can see numpy dot around hundred multiply records dot duplicated dot sum and divide by length of records and after decimal how many points? one point or whatever you percentage. can say percentage execute this you can see here percentage percentage is not this one okay single quote i have not given so i am getting here zero percent only duplicate data and records guys can I say in record we are getting duplicate data zero uh, percent, but in first data in data point, can I say that much data is coming? Yes or no? Yes. Sir. Yeah. So can I say wherever duplicate data is there, can I drop that data? Yes. Will you drop it or not, guys? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, so that much data is coming as a duplicate data and see the common data is this only 36,000 only, right? 
so remaining data is of fraudulent uh, duplicate data so you can go and drop it you can say Percentage. you can say drop duplicates so how you will drop it guys can i say first data i'm considering remaining anything coming that i have to drop it can i take first data let's say any data is coming like that a b c 1 a b c 1 b c d B C D two, B C D two. So how you will do it? Can I say this one? I will take keep. This one I have to drop. This one I have to keep, and these two I have to drop. Yes or no? So my final data is A B C one, and B C D two. Are you with me? Yes. Sir. Okay. Yeah. One data you have to take it. No, everything you can't drop it. Which data? Can I say first data I'm taking? Remaining anything is coming. I have to drop it. Yeah. So please go and do this. You can say data equal to data dot drop underscore duplicates. And here, my friend, you can say subset equal to data dot column columns. One to all, you know, wherever the matching one to all is similar data, then please remove. Why I'm doing it, guys? Why I'm doing? Because these are the variable there, right? If any customer, two different customer had same nature there, then what is the use to take two different data set? Yes or no? This is just a unique ID, right? Can I say their feature is this? On that basis, you have to decide, or you will decide by ID. ID is just name. Tell me. See if the feature is yes, same, sir. exact same, if this one and this one had same feature, then if they will do a fraudulent, they will also do fraudulent or not? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So that is why I'm taking one to all. So you have to go here and say one to all. And can I write here keep equal to? First, execute this. Now see data dot shape. How many data available, guys? Out of four lakh thirty eight thousand, how many data available? How many data available? Nine thousand Now if I do this intersection, now if I do the intersection, guys. Earlier okay. when we had a duplicate data, how many common is coming, guys? 36,000. Now, if I do the intersection, how many common is there, my friend? Can you please tell me? 9,700. Yeah. Can I say that is only my friend? Mm -hmm. Are you guys with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Cool. Now, now you have to do another, you know, analysis. See, I, I'm not jumping directly into, you know, the pre-processing part. I'm just telling you what are the things first you have to do, how you can clean the data first. So you have to see the data set, then you can see is there any duplicate data, you have to drop it, and then finally you have to do it. So guys, I'm just finding the, is there any, uh, you know, whatever the variables there, you can go in the sequence order, right? Just arrange, you know, sorting value so i'm just doing here uh, you can say i'm saying unique cons equal to pd dot data frame okay i'm making a data frame table and then you can say dot from from records parenthesis bracket you can say here column then you can say data their column okay next you can say dot number of unique value unique value all right now you can say for column in data dot column okay what is meaning of call data dot column each column Next line, you can say columns equal to first column name. I am giving here column name. Okay, 
second column I'm giving here number of unique value unique value and then I'm saying sort values by you can say number of unique value okay you can sort by unique value ascending order okay execute this now you can see what happened guys I have created a column here so this index number is changed because I did sorting okay so these are the column names there mobile number gender car reality family phone how many unique value guys can I say this is the unique value is coming ID how many 90,000 date of birth how many is coming that is unique value can I say these are the unique value guys my dear friend yes or no and this yes, is just sir. like a value count you can say value count number of unique value is coming in that value count is different this is unique value number of unique value guys yes yeah can I do the similar thing with the you know another data set call uh, you know what you what you say or or just like let, let's say this one only I'm saying here unique counts you can say unique counts equal to uh, let me copy this unique counts equal to uh, I'm saying here from record see I'm comparing this from records column data point equal to column number of unique in column equal to you know record columns here so here I'm saying data columns you can say records column now records column and can I change this also guys records column everyone and execute this now see this this is my record data set here there are three variable status month balance and id id how many is there 45,985 how many status there guys eight status is coming that is unique value and how many month balance 61 month balance is coming yes or no everyone are you with me yes sir are yes sir you guys with me or not my friend here like we are doing value comes right uh, we are just doing no value count will do differently see yeah but individual I, only uh, i'm just i'm counting each variable how many unique value there using for list, list combination list, right, uh, combination yeah if i do value count then what it will do date of birth let's say here 18 occupation 18 there so all 18 how many times there that is called value counts mm. yes or no mm, yes yeah that is so i'm not doing it i'm just finding the unique value in each variable how many unique value there are you with me okay yeah so uh this one guys we have how many unique value there only one there can i drop this one is very negligible or not guys yes sir. we can drop can no, i say no. everywhere only one 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 is given entire column which indicate there is a singularity no, in the data set hmm. so the value is same no no matter whatever customer is doing no matter whether customer is a sensitive customer or fraudulent customer or real customer, hardly matter for me. Flag mobile will give any other information. Everywhere the same answer is there? Yes. So can I say we can try to eliminate this variable? Are you are you guys yes, with sir. me, my dear friend? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, so please go and reduce, remove this part. You can say, you can say data dot drop. Which variable you have to drop? You can say, I want to drop flag mobile. You can drop it. Comma. X is equal to guys. One. And in place equal to. True. Execute this. Data dot. Shape. My dear friend, earlier it was 18, now 17 only. 
yes or no yes or no yes sir yes sir now now i have handled the duplicate data i have removed the non significant variable now come back to the very very significant thing which is called handling missing value can i do handling missing value part guys yes handling missing values yes. so how you will do it can i write here my friend data dot is null sum of dot sum my friend occupation Occupations. type is coming 27477 okay this is what i am getting here so you can you can write uh, there is a visualization there guys it's very uh, nice visualization either you can go like that also but when you give a presentation okay when you give a presentation there is a package there it's called import missing number as msno okay you have to execute this package what it will do it will give a visualization where how much data is missing so if in case you are giving a presentation that time you will not speak with number yeah you know that how significant visualization is guys it's a 60000 faster than number visualization is 60000 right so that's why you know if you see the higher level senior level they always give the visualization part so you have to just go and do it here I'm saying here missing equal to, can I write here my friend, msno dot matrix. And here you have to pass data set. Okay, yeah, then you can say, yes. sorry. Okay. Now you can say missing dot set title. Parenthesis bracket, you can say missing data for application record data set and font size equal to let's say i'm putting 20 press enter you can see very nice visualization guys if you see here occupation type most of the time it's coming blank 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 can i say missing data these are complete okay but this mm -hmm. data are you getting so anybody can I give a glance? Will they understand or not? Occupation, we have more than 25% missing data there, guys. Tell me. Yes, sir. Will you prefer to go ahead or you will drop that value? Drop. 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 But occupation type there, you will drop occupation or wherever missing data there, you have to say other. What you will do? Occupation, if information other. not given, you can put other. No. But if you drop, that means you are missing the information, guys. Yes or no? Yes, yes sir. Is very important for the. This is very significant credit. part, right? Mm -hmm. Especially if you are doing a credit card analysis, how you can drop it? So will you go by that logic? Twenty-five percent threshold value. No. Yes. No. You are not supposed to go this, right? If you go, that means you are doing crime. Please understand. Domain knowledge is really required. So can I say wherever missing data there? Can I fill by other? They have other. You know, occupation? No, normally it happened. No, when you go in bank and all, when you fill some form, it's not information is not given. We are selecting others. Yes. Sir. Yeah. So can I say, my dear friend, can I put it here? Can I say data? What variable it is? Oh, occupation sorry. type? Occupation type. Copy this. Can I say this equal to? this equal to or directly i'm saying dot fill any can i put here my friend can i put here value equal to other yes and in place equal to true press enter if i apply the same thing what happened what happened guys do we have any missing data now no. Handle or not? Handles. Handle. Yeah. Similarly, we have another data set. Can I check there? Records dot is null of dot sum. Of. Dot sum. Very nice visualization mm -hmm. or not, guys? This will help you or not when you give a presentation and all. 
Yes, sir. Yeah, always, you know, do like that differently. I have I have not used the color coding and all. You can do color coding also. Okay, here you can give the color coding. Go and search it. Shift and tab, you can see here. All function is there, right? Font dictionary, lock, pad, label, right? Key argument, key argument. You can put n number of things. If you are not clear, you can see here font size, font weight, color, right? Vertical alignment, horizontal alignment. Do this part. Okay, because your job is, in case if you get job in BI role, business intelligence, then always you have to give more focus on presentation and all. Anyway, so here there is no missing data, guys. If I pick this one, what happened? What happened, my dear friend? Records. Can I put here missing two? Missing two? That's no and that is application this is called credit record that is application record this is credit record guys for that customer mm -hmm. yes yeah so can i say there is no missing data here clear yes. everybody me, till sir. here you are with me yes ma'am yes, yes please. Sir. Uh, yes, sir, uh, that white color bar on the right hand side, uh, is that indicating anything? This part you are saying? Uh, yes. No, no, this is not indicating anything. Here also you are getting, right, 17, this this only tell us that how many total variables there. Okay. Because here only it's above... saying how many variables there. So three variables here. How many variables? 17 variables. Yeah, sir. And uh, in the above uh, graph, no, where the ah. missing values were, were there. This one. Yeah, yeah. Ah, here so here it is 16 showing is 16 is okay. One is total 17 there, but okay. one is missing there. So that is the indication there. This is just like a, a heat map you have seen. No, right side, there is a scale is coming. So yeah, this yeah. is what just like a scale. So it will tell you that total we have 17. 16 is okay. One, there is a problem. Okay. Here, total 17, all 17 is clean. Here, total 3 all three is clean. So that also you will get it, understanding. Okay, okay, thank you. Clear? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, no problem. My dear friend, till here you are with me or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah? Now, what I'm going to do here, guys, what I'm going to do here, I'm just, you know, you can see the data set. You can see here the data set. Record is coming here, ID, month, and status. A status, can I say a status is nothing? This is my target variable. Or can I make a target column, guys, which I want to predict whether I have to approve their credit card or I have to reject them. Can I make target variable? Come on, tell me. Mm. So can I can I create yes, one more variable here? Can I say here? Can I do I'm saying okay. converting converting data in a proper format? Okay, so that I can build a machine learning. So I'm just making a records here. I'm making one variable called target variable. Okay, and can I say here records? What is the Target variable is nothing. It's called see what we are status. Okay, target is the records you missed. I can't see what. Sorry, records is spelling mistakes. Sir. Achha. Equal to after that right side. Yes, sorry. Records. Okay, it's okay. Okay. Thank you. Now. Guys, I'm saying record equal to record status. Now record equal to, I'm saying here dot replace. I'm saying wherever this record, first you can see this one. My friend, if I'm saying dot value count, value counts, tell me guys, we have, these are the variables there, C0, X1, 5, 2, 3, 4, yes or no? Yes. Are the variable there. Now what I'm saying here, what is the meaning of this? You can you can just give a glance here. What is coming here? X means no loan for, for the month. Okay. Credit status for the month. C equal to paid of the month. All right. And zero equal to one to twenty nine nine days past due. Okay. Now 
I am just placing here. I'm I'm saying wherever this two two variable there x or c there, can I make everything as a number? Can I put zero? Means both already given, and this is zero to one month. Means can I say they will pay guys within a month? When when you pay a loan amount, can I say every every month you monthly you are paying or not? Yes. Yes. So can yes, I say sir. this monthly? monthly means can I, I consider as a zero? That also indicates zero to twenty nine days past due. Means one month data, you know, you have to pay it monthly EMI. Okay. And C and if no loan or paid off, means can I say this means can I make as a number as a zero, guys? Yes. Just think, you no, know, logically, can I put zero because already zero means what? Even X or C or zero all will come. Means can I say yes? No loans. Can I say they are genuine one? Here only the problem is. One two three four. Yes, four. After yeah. four. After yeah. So you can see here. You can just go and put here. You can say replace wherever x given. Can I replace with zero? And in place equal to true. Similarly, guys, record dot not a status. Sorry. Target dot. See replace. Can I put wherever C there? Can I replace with zero? In yes. place equal to true? Yes or no? Yes. Now, now my dear friend, record target. Can I say this equal to record target dot? Can I say as type? What is this type is? Can I say this is actually integer? Can I make as an integer, guys? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, please, please see this. If I'm saying here records, records dot lock column row wise, right? I'm saying here records record target is greater or equal to one. Then, guys, then target equal to one. So, make sense what I'm doing here? Anything one or more than one will consider one. Anything will consider zero x or c that consider as a zero genuine customer or one means one two three four five fake yes. customer. Yes, sir. Yeah, one yes. month delay, two month delay, five month delay, six month delay, fraudulent. They will consider as a civil score get impacted or not. Yes. That's so right. if you do this part, my friend, now if I'm doing here record, enter, what happened guys? Can I say here I'm getting target? If I say record underscore target dot value count. Tell me dear friend, are you clear how many genuine customer and how many fake customer? Out of total 10 lakh 34 thousand, you know, transaction guys, yes or no? 14,000. My dear friend, can I say target one means high risk customer? If they will apply yes. for credit card, will you give blindly? Or you can say, no, no, wherever I'm going, credit card people catching me and they say, sir, take credit card. Lifetime free. Have you ever experienced, guys? Yes, sir. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes insurance people, they say, sir, in case unfortunate thing happen, you will die. If I will die, then you will get so much insurance. Have you, have you seen the salesperson? <laughs> they will speak like that. So take insurance, sir. Your family will get that much. Health insurance also. Health insurance also, they will say. Nowadays, COVID after that. Ah. Uh, people are doing. People are doing. Tom plan also. Yeah. So, my dear friend, can I say if any one type customer will come, will you provide or will you consider as a high risk customer? Yes, a kind of imbalance for it. Yeah, you can say no. So, can I do here? Can I make here a table? I am saying here data frame equal to PD dot data frame 
frame i'm making a table here i'm saying record dot group by group by id okay each id i'm grouping by and here my dear friend here i'm saying what is the variable target is the variable target is the variable and then you can say dot aggregate maximum aggregate maximum dot reset index reset index okay what i'm doing here guys my dear friend are you with me group by take here id so you can just go here and do this now check here data frame this is the id can i say these are the genuine customer guys and there are some fake customer as well there are fake customer as well if i say target dot value count my friend how many here it's coming right i have not grouped them one customer coming multiple times now when i group them how many customer guys total customer is unique customer is 45000 or not here this is transaction is coming this is my total customer is there id wise i have taken so how many customer they are for they may do fraudulent you will reluctant to give credit card can i say 5000 350 please tell me can i say this customer i will i am reluctant to give guys yes sir yes sir everybody are you with me or not 5000 yeah 5000 350 you always reluctant to give credit card you will give only those cases where you need some guarantor yes or no have you seen that anybody is coming for loan and all you are asking guarantor and all it's happening or not yes sir yeah not yes. everywhere but mostly you know they can see who, they will ask you they will check your past salary slip two year three years how long you are working what are the assets there is lots of things there but this is just a simple credit card there now if i do more analysis i need to combine both table or not only then i can do it yes sir my dear friend can i combine both the table yes sir then only you can do so can i make a combination of both table because i will not work independently i have to combine both so can i say my new data frame equal to new data frame equal to pd dot march pd dot march what is my original data guys can i say data what is my record record data can i say data frame df just i made it df guys this data set mm -hmm. yes or no this data okay. set here we have id and target given do you need other mm -hmm. thing do you need this one now i have already taken this target can i say this target base is this what a status that is and this is status depend on the month balance and i make new table can i say data manipulation part i did it can i say this data you need it or you need this one tell me do you have any make sense now to to take this variable no sir mention yeah? is fine so i'm just removing it i'm saying data and data frame how you will connect guys what is the common in both data set how you will connect can i ID? say inner join id id inner ID. join now oh, that is on how you will do it inner join outer join left join right join inner, inner join inner join can inner i say inner join, join which is inner common join. yeah inner join guys sql you know structure query language on yes. equal to my friend what is common id 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 go ahead and do this now you can see new data frame data frame dot head execute this my dear friend tell me new column get added target or not yes can i say this is my proper data set now guys this is my proper data set here i can do all analysis shape is 9000 this new data frame dot mm -hmm. info can i say this is my data frame 
how many total new observation unique observation 9710 see earlier how much data there 4 lakh 33000 10 lakh records and all how much i'm getting final now guys 97 9007 9, 9, oh, approximate 10000 how many variable 18 variables 18. what is your dependent variable can i say target is my dependent okay. variable now you are easily do all pre-processing part or not yes. yeah there are lots of objects there i have to do encoding label encoder one hot encoder guys yes or no yes sir. i yes. also have to check outlier feature scaling do you know all method imbalance treatment yes yes or no yes yes, yes sir. Yeah? But to jump there, to jump there, we have to do EDA part, univariate analysis, bivariate analysis, multivariate analysis. Yes or no? Lots of things we have to do. Someone saying something. Go ahead, my friend. Hello, sir. Can you explain the above when the one, data is equal to target is greater than one is equal to one? That one is this above. One. No, not this one. This one. Ha, sir, this one last one. Last what one. I said here, sir, what I said here, if you see the record okay. status, how many record status there? These are the status there. Ah, yes, sir. So I am saying, see, this is only one month due. Here, what is your meaning? Zero means, can I say one month due? Ha, sir, yes. So maybe you know 1 to 29 you are getting time no if you are doing emi so let's say there is a date assigned 25th every month you have to pay so if you pay today then how many you know next 25 that means can i say they have 1 to 29 days delay there or not next 25th can i say what is how many delay there can i say past date given 1 to 29th days in between someone not necessary 25th they can pay 20th also they can pay 15th also it's customer you know desire if they don't do do it this is the final cut of date guys yes or no yes sir yeah if you are getting credit card bill there is a timeline given no deadline is this before yes. that you have to pay yes, so this zero means can i say that much time is there if you are getting credit card today and the date date is given let's say 30th december you have to pay it that means that means you have 15 days buffer time there or when you did transaction, can I say last month I did transaction? So this is already one month. So this is okay or not? You have to pay it. Hmm, yes, this sir. one, there is no loan. This means already paid. So can ah, I yes. merge all three? Zero. Zero. So I made oh. zero. It's okay, clear? Uh, that now, clear. Next one, this is one month delay. Means ideally, the date is 30th. Let's say today's uh, last 30th November there, the date. But they didn't pay. Today is 16th December. Can I say already one month gone? It's more than one month, 15 days. Can I say 45 days delay happen? No, sir, yes. That means credit card, they start charging or not? Problem? Yes. No, sir. This is 150 days. This is 60, more than 60 days, more than 80 days, 90 days, more than 120 days. Can I say these are the problems or not? Oh, okay. So I am saying any value which is more than or equal to any value equal to one or more than one means can I say two also, three also, four also, five also. They all consider as one only. So okay, that okay. I will get a binary class okay, problem. Okay, sir. Yeah, okay, sir. yeah, otherwise what happened? It's a multi-class classification. Okay, My sir. target is not to predict multi-class. Right? I am just targeting whether I have to approve. That is the problem. No, In beginning if you see what is the problem there? In case study itself, it's mentioned there. That is the problem statement. Here, the credit card application should be approved or reject. Can I say binary class problem? Mm, yes. yes sir. I have not said category 1, category 2, category 3. That is the information given. But what is your end result? Whether you will approve or you will reject. Yes, so that is why I have done this one. Are you clear? Ah, sir, no clear. Thank you, sir. Everybody, all my friend, you are with me till here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, uh, guys, sir, here have... we, uh, sir, I have one doubt, sir. Here we replace with the like X and C value with the zero, right? Zero, yeah. And the other one is like one, five, two, three, four that we are not considering or that what? I have considered as one. Here I have written one. no anything 
one or more than one will consider one only. One only. Okay. okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, so I have I have considered row wise. I'm not using I lock. I'm saying lock function means all row by row anywhere the record target will come one or more than one. Then my dear friend, I have to consider that one as a one only. So we have a binary class. Now target is my dependent variable. Earlier we, we didn't have no dependent variable also guys in the data set. Only problem statement you know that that the problem is for whether I can approve or reject. Now, do you have make sense or not? When you do the job in bank, how you will analyze guys? You will get such type of data. Real data set is there like that. It's given also, no? You can see here. They have given a problem to identify the customer segment which are eligible for customer, eligible for credit card approval so they can specifically target those customer. Okay, this is the real time, you know, the problem you will do it. Are you guys with me? You can see here. We yes. will build automatic credit card approval predicting using machine learning technique just like the real banks do. Okay, real bank is doing exactly the same thing that we are going to do here. Anywhere, anybody have any problem in the coding guys? If I will give you this data set, will you do this part whatever I did it independently or not? I will share code also anywhere you get stuck, you can refer my code, but will you able to do it or not? Yes, yes sir. Yeah? So I yes, have sir. merged the data today. Tomorrow, guys, I will do more analysis. Whatever I told you, whatever I told you, I ingest the data. I did some analysis part. I'm working on the pre-processing here. Yeah, remaining part I'll do tomorrow because I merged the data. Now next part I'll do and feature engineering, then only I will jump here.